Hi, this is Abadhe Tech. Today I'll be showing a video on how to install Windows 8 using a USB drive on your netbook, laptop, or your desktop computer. To download Windows 8, go to this website up here, which I'm going to leave in the description box below. Go to this website and scroll down all the way until you see this. You can either download the 32 or the 64 bit, depending on the computer that you have. But for the purpose of this, this tutorial, I'm going to download the 32 bit because it's only 2.5 gig in space. And you can download either both of them and same instruction applies. So download, I click download and it started to download. So it's going to take one hour to finish for me. It's going to take approximately one hour to finish for me. We also need to download another program called Windows 7 USB DVD tool. To download this, go to this website up here, which I'm going to leave in the description box below. And then scroll down until you see this. And then click download. And the program started to download and finished. And we're going to install this program. Click on this. Click run. Click next. Click install. And then it will begin to install. This program was initially designed for Windows 7 using it to, uh, to use a USB drive, but then it also works on Windows 8 perfectly. Once it's finished installing, uh, you want to plug in your USB drive that you're going to use for the installation. Uh, you a USB drive that is min with a minimum capacity of 4 gig. I'm going to use my Kingston USB drive, which is 16 gig and I'm going to format it. To format it, you right click and select format and then leave the settings as it is and make sure it's under quick format. And then start and it's going to erase all your data making it clean um, making your USB drive clean and the format has completed and then press OK. Close and you can see all your files has been deleted on the USB drive. And like I said, minimum 4 gig USB to install Windows 8. And then once, uh, now open the program that finishes installing. Go, go to start Windows 7 USB download tool and then click on the program. And what this program is going to do is make our USB drive bootable for Windows 8. So click, click browse and select the Windows 8 iOS image that you downloaded. So in my case is under the downloads folder and then I'm going to open the Windows 8 iOS image right here. And make sure the iOS image is downloaded completely and press open. And then press next. Click next. And then up here you have an option of choosing um, selecting your media type. And up here we want to choose our USB drive and you also could use your DVD to burn an image as well. We can use our USB device, so select USB and then up here make sure you select the USB drive that you want to use for the installation. In my case I'm using a 16 gig Kingston USB drive and I selected that and then press begin copy. Um, it's going to take a while to copy this. And this program was initially used to make a Windows 7 operating system bootable on a USB device, but it works fine on, it works perfectly on Windows 8 as well. So what is it doing right now is making our USB drive uh, Windows 8 bootable. So while these files are being copied, um, make sure your system meets these minimum requirements for Windows 8. So the requirements are listed right up here. So at least a 1 gig processor and a 1 gig RAM and a hard hard disk of 20 uh, hard disk of 16 gig and, and um and all the other requirements listed up here. So I'm going to wait until this finishes finish installing. Now that it has finished copying the files, close the program 
and shut down your computer. So I'm going to shut down my computer right now. And make sure the USB is still plugged in. For their, and I'm using my Sony camcorder right now. For the reminder of the tutorial, I'm going to use my Sony camcorder to record and to show you how to install Windows 8. So I'm just turning, and then now, uh, once your computer is turned off, turn on your computer and, and we need to open up the boot menu. To open up the boot menu, depending on your computer, um, uh, it might be F10 or F12 or the escape, escape button. On my ASUS laptop is the escape button. So turn on the computer and keep pressing the escape button until you see the boot menu. When you go to the boot menu, select the USB drive that has Windows 8 on it. So on my is a USB Kingston. Select it. And now Windows is loading up. up Windows 8 use the settings that applies to you use the settings that applies to you and then click next and then click install now so setup is starting enter the product key that was given in the download page and if you forgot to write it down don't worry I'm gonna type it myself I'm going to type it in and you can type that in. This product key is available when you downloaded the Windows 8 iOS image file. And type this in. It's really hard to type while holding a camcorder. really hard to type while holding a camcorder and then press next after you entered the product key and then read the license terms if you like if not should I uh, should click I accept and then press next and then this is a very important part of the installation if you want to upgrade to Windows 8 completely and boom, remove your Windows 7 operating system then click upgrade if not, click custom install. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to custom install on my third driver and press OK. And it's going to copy all the files. This way, I would keep my Windows 7 files and also have Windows 8 as optional and also keep Windows 8. But if you select the express, if you select upgrade, then you're going to delete all your Windows 7 files and you're going to use Windows 8 as your primary operating system. But if you click custom and select another drive to install Windows 8, you have you will keep your Windows 7 and also Windows 8, which I have done. So it just it reboot it and then it's gonna start again. It's loading. So my computer is rebooted after installing. And it says it's preparing. Getting devices ready. Getting the system ready and then I'll restart my PC again. Okay, and now it's asking me to select the operating system and I'm going to select Windows 8.
Windows 8 has loaded and um, Windows 8 has been installed and it's asking me to set up. So I'm going to enter my PC name which is about the tech and I'll enter my PC name about the tech and then you have the option of changing the background background theme color but I'm going to keep it as blue as default I'm going to keep it as blue as default and then press next it's asking me to connect to my wireless settings so I'm going to connect to my wireless and then press connect it's asking for my password and I'm of course I'm of course I'm going to hide the characters I'm going to enter my password and then press connect and I'm going to use the express settings or you can customize it if you like but I'm going to use the express settings for this tutorial I'm going to use the express settings so ask me to enter my ask me to enter an email address and I'm going to skip this part and press next but then I have to enter an email address so I'm going to enter my email address up here and then I'm going to press next and then it's checking for a Microsoft account. Since I already have a Microsoft account and Hotmail is a Microsoft account, so I have to log in. So I'm going to enter my password. And it's please wait. And then it's asking me to enter additional security information, which I'm going to skip, but then I have to provide it. So I'm going to enter these additional security information and then I'm going to press next so and then it's creating my account finalizing my settings and then it's rebooted again and then it says uh, and finally I have Windows 8 and I guess this is Windows 8 and it looks much different and looks like it's a new environment and um, this is it you have Windows 8 installed on your computer and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial if you have any questions regarding this uh, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Like always, please rate, thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'm going to sign out. And if you want more uh, tutorials on Windows 8, let me know. And I'm going to sign out and I'm going to try to turn off my computer. So, oh, right up here, I'm going to shut down my computer. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below.